Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Retro Pop Planet. I don't know if I've said this before on the channel, but I am a small business owner and I own a boutique paint contracting residential and commercial company. Now, several years ago, I redesigned a logo that I initially created in the early 2000s. Part of the reason why I changed the logo is that there is a wine company that had a very similar logo to mine. And I thought it created a little bit too much confusion. So about five years ago, I completely redesigned my logo and I introduced a character. Now the character is a gnome. I'm a traditional artist meaning that I am more of a drawer and a painter and I possess almost zero computer design skills. So about five years ago I've discovered the site Fiverr. Some of the YouTube videos that I've come across have been sort of snarky and they really sort of mock the gig workers that are on Fiverr. I've had nothing but good things to say about the different artists that I've used. Case in point, I found an artist who took a concept sketch of mine that was very rough and very loose. And the first time he sent back the finished product with a question about revisions, he nailed it. He showed me a couple other revisions and I didn't even need to see them. The very first digital rendering that he sent back to me was perfect. And it's what I've used as my logo for the last five years. The artist was based somewhere in Indonesia and his response time I think was around four or five days and I think my total price was $20 for a full color vector graphic mock-up of my logo. Now because I've been so busy this summer I've lacked any sort of motivation for hobby art and I haven't really had a lot of inspiration for new stuff until I went to the beach a couple weeks ago. And while I was at the beach, I thought it would be really funny to come up with a design of my character on vacation. Now, I took very liberal inspiration from the characters of the 1988 Town and Country Surf Designs, TNC Surf Designs video game. It came out originally on Nintendo Entertainment System. I bought it when it first came out. This is my original copy. I love this game. It doesn't really hold up all that well today it's a little bit hard to play but I think some of the surfing scenes might be some of the best surfing I've ever played in a video game it's simple it's straight to the point other companies have really sort of botched it but I think this LJN title is just a really good cartoon representation of surfing it's not real but you can go through a pipe you can ride a tube all kinds of cool stuff you can ride off the back of a wave I originally grew up on an island off the coast of Texas, so I've always been obsessed with surf culture. And in the late 80s and early 90s, surf culture really sort of had a comeback here in the US, and you would see companies repping product everywhere. Skating was also a big thing as well. There are a ton of video games promoting skating. There were movies and VHS tapes you could pick up at the different video rental stores. There were magazines everywhere. I had friends that skated. The first time I skated, I wiped out so hard that I said, this is not for me. <laughs> I wasn't even all about that mess. But the one thing that I did enjoy was surfing. When I was in college, I had a couple buddies that had surfboards and we would go not that often uh, because where I went to school was surrounded by mountains. When we would get a chance to go surfing, it was super fun. I mean, one friend had a 5'7 short board, another friend had a long board, and then another friend had a 7'4 fun board. Now, I always got stuck with a 5'6 short board, which in three to four foot waves is pretty much just a dumpster fire. You'd be lucky if you could ride six or seven yards on this thing. So I spent most of the day just watching these other guys surf. For years, I was a subscriber to Surfer Magazine. So reading up on uh, Rob Machado and Kelly Slater, of course, and all the big time surfers, uh, Laird Hamilton. It was just really fun to cut out the photos and just sort of be in that culture. And then there were stores like PacSun and a bunch of different skate shops. If I were to sit here and rep all the different brands that I sported back in the day, I mean, you're talking about Stussy, OP, Catton, TNC, 17th Street Surf Shop, Rusty, Rip Curl, Red Sand, Billabong, Locomotion, and O'Neill. You get where I'm coming from with this. So I thought it'd be cool to draw my company mascot and meld it with a TNC surf design style character. Maybe he's a buddy of Thrilla Gorilla and was invited to be part of the crew. So I drew this preliminary sketch. So I think I'm gonna trace this onto some marker paper, scale it down a bit, throw some color on this, ink it, and see where we are after that. So come along on the ride, it should be pretty fun. And I will see you after the coloring and inking stage and we can review the work.
So here's the finished piece. I'm pretty happy with the way this thing turned out. I think it was super fun to work on. It's actually a cross between my new logo, which is the gnome, and my previous logo, which is the two feet in the middle of the surfboard. I love this as an out of office concept. And now I have an idea to take this a step further. I might toss it back to Fiverr. I might go with a previous artist or I might find a new vector artist that specializes in sticker design. So that might be a topic for a future video. So if you want to stay updated on this project, please like, click, subscribe, share. I'll be coming at you with another video very soon. And thanks for watching guys. We're out.